obviously you have been successful for a very very long time um you know especially with the spice girls but now and now not but now and now you know you've, you're on drive to survive you're on that a lot so people know you through that they love you through the spice girls they're loving this book they love your character the stances that you take you know and the whole me the messaging of, of positivity it's better now than it's ever been isn't it well, do you know what? It's really lovely because before I did music, I studied English literature. Right. And, um, and it was always a very big passion. It's something I always felt competent in the right power of words. Yeah. You know, I'm no Mariah Carey. I, you know, I just, <laughs> I've always felt very competent in the, you know, in writing. Yeah. And, um, and what I like is that for any age, you can, you know, pursue a dream and go for it. Right. And so to have that opportunity, I feel incredibly grateful. And it's taken me nine years to write this book. But, mm. well, seven years to write it, nine years by the time it got out. And so it feels really, like, affirming, like, wow, you're allowed to have different chapters in your life. Yeah. Give it a pun. Yeah, yeah. And it's the seventh <gasps> book, but it's, it is your sort of biggest, your deepest yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a novel. It's, it's, it's your most thing. layered, most... most yeah. Yeah. rounded yeah most sophisticated and people are saying jerry they are saying it's, it's harry potter good <laughs> oh my god which is a, i mean congratulations oh, oh my god I how mean, great is that i mean that's uh, yeah that is just incredible to be even going the same way and that's not taking anything away from jk Rowling. Yeah, it's just amazing. giving yeah. similar to you yeah it's that well, if there's any comparison uh, well there is there's, there is yeah, comparison what i would say and it's funny as well it's a funny book uh, I tried to sort of like fast paced adventure. Like even Christian read it, yeah. right? And he doesn't really read books. And Which is strange because he has a lot of reading time available <laughs> on all those planes. <laughs> on all those planes. That, he said, I'll read it yeah. when it's published. Because I kept on trying, you know, want to read bits out to him. He's going, no, no, no. I like that. And he goes, I'll wait till it's published. That's quite wise. Yeah. And so then the first thing he said was when he, he was going on a plane, he went 100 pages in and he went, oh, it's much better than I thought it would be. Yeah. Right. And then he said to me, I couldn't, st I couldn't put it down. I just wanted to find out what happened next. And I thought, all my work is done and for me this is like a and it's for you it's for your son Noah yeah. it's a fast-paced adventure but it will fill you up from the inside yeah. it's about it's it's full of history conservation but also finding the power you never knew you had yeah I think it's a uh, this hero is vulnerable yeah like it's a modern day hero which I really like it's not alpha it's like about finding the courage you never knew you had, Chris. Yeah. And it's the thing about, they say about geniuses, you know, geniuses take very complicated subjects and they explain them very simply and idiots take really simple subjects and explain them very confusedly. And what you've done with the history in this and all the messages, it is, it just is all, it's all very, it lands very lightly, but it's very deep. Yes. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Have you read it then? I haven't read all of it. But I've, you've you know, started to. Yeah, yeah no, I, I've, I've had a pricey of it. I've read some of it, but I get the gist and I can't yeah. wait to read it. it embedded in it is, is history of Anne Boleyn. Yeah, I know. And basically there's a school that's built by Queen Elizabeth I in honour of her mother Anne Boleyn. Mm -hmm. That was 500 years ago. Yeah. And she just, and the, if you discover Anne Boleyn, she was basically shamed for being smart and thrown under the bus. Yeah. And so Queen Elizabeth I, she doesn't want to get married. She says, you know what? I'm going to build this school and those pupils, those students, their ideas will be my heir. Right. So that's yeah. 500 years ago. 500 yeah. years later, Rosie gets sent there and it's a school of polymaths. And it goes through, she goes through a series of challenges. Yeah. It's a bit like um, Squid Game. Yeah. And and she and she follows these rules given to her by the ghost of Anne Boleyn. Yeah. And so you saw, and it, so you get a bit of history. Yeah, and there's some baddies in there as there well. Are. Mr. Hemlock. Hemlock yeah. by name, Hemlock by nature. Yeah, but I always think in every little bit of yeah. bad there's a bit of good. In every, no one's like it's three dimensional. Yeah. Then no one's perfect. Mm -hmm. So he is one of my favourite characters. Shakespeare said, there is no such thing as good or bad. It's only thinking that makes it so. Et cetera, okay, et we, there is a little bit of Shakespeare embedded in there, actually. Love it. Love yes. it. And we, I mean, I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to, you know, there are spoilers all over the place because, well, because it's such a proper story. However, the review is in. Now, you know, on Strictly they say the judges' scores are in. Sometimes yeah. they say the reviews are in. Both plural there, Jerry. However, we only have one review on this show that counts, and it's always Vassis's nine-year-old Mary. Okay, mm. she read it. And she read it, yeah. 
Um, she yeah, she came name? home from school. This is Mary. Yeah. She came home from school yesterday. Yeah. I was actually reading it and, and I was enjoying it so much, Jerry, that I didn't want to hand it to her. <gasps> Plus, I now have to pay her per review two pounds. Oh, dear. And I thought I could get away without paying her if I yeah. just did the review. But she snatched it. She read it. And, uh, and here's her review. OK, the reviews okay. are in. Here oh, we wow. go. Rosie Frost and the Falcon Queen is absolutely epic. I love Rosie, obviously. And I love how the tension builds and builds until you think you almost can't take it anymore. But then you have to keep reading, even when your mummy says it's time to go to bed. Please, could Jerry write some more Rosie Frost books? I oh. need to know more. Oh, yeah. my God, that's amazing. And by the way, she Mary really does tell it like it is. She's the mm. most um, prolific nine-year-old reader I've ever come oh, that's across. that's so flattering. Um, so seven years in the making, six other books in the writing as well, because this is your seventh. Yeah. Um, I'm presuming there are more. Yeah, well, last night, actually, because I couldn't sleep because I was so excited. Yeah. Um, I have, this is going to be a bit quicker this time, but because I've already done the whole world building, but I was up at 3 a.m. writing book two, like editing. Rosie? Yeah, yes, Rosie. Is, is Rosie it, your Harry then? Yeah, it's, there's a trilogy, so we'll see. But there, it's a trilogy, that's how I plan it. So we'll see. But this music as well, you can uh, you can scan the yeah. barcode at the back yeah. and you get two songs too. So we've got a whole world. Oh, my goodness me. So America have embraced it. They've taken it. To, oh, she, America's taken it to her bosom. Number one um, New York Times bestseller already. This is so cool. Um, <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm like, ah. <gasps> so, so what's going to happen movie-wise and things? Well, um... You can tell me. Nobody I else is listening. I can't deny and I cannot to confirm right. that something is bubbling. Of course in the... it is. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, if she is the female <laughs> Harry... Um... Well, she, she, I would say she's she's in her own lane. She, yeah. she find, you know, the, the, the courage comes from within. Yeah, from a pitch point of view. Do, yeah. You know, you want, you want Harry Potter, you want a, you know, same kind of thing, or, you know... Then here, here she is. She's a female hero, but with boys, formed. the boys cry, but the yeah. boys are strong, but Love the boys it. cry. Important so those boys see it and they can be it. But mm -hmm. the girls, they they save the boys, but they don't slay dragons; they save them. Right. That's the difference. It's very modern sort of viewpoint on the characters. You don't have to sell. Honestly, you don't have to sell it. Everybody's we're we're on board, aren't we, Vassos? No, oh, absolutely. It's really, really, really good. Rachel, where thank are you, you and your so family? Much. Where are I the horns? I'm so delighted to hear and say thank you to Mary. Oh, I, that's so nice. Checks in the post. Go I, on. The, my boys also <gasps> love reading. My youngest is eleven, so he is bang in line for this. He's currently working his way through the Maze Runner series, but I've okay. told him that this is coming. So I, this is coming home with me to go oh, to the bedside table. Oh, that gives me so much. Like yesterday, when this little girl gave me feedback on the book, and she's sort of talking about all the characters to me. I mean, it's just such a thrill that they, you know, that Rosie Frost is more important to her. Do you know what I mean? Than it was just, it was such a buzz. That's the whole point. And for any age as well, it's lovely that your father and daughter can love her together. It's massive. It's massive. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you so much. Have you seen the Beckham documentary? I saw, I've so far, I've seen one and a half series. Do you think Drive to Survive has a lot to answer for? Because it's all very Drive to Survive. It's the Arnie documentary, this documentary. Robbie's going to do one as well. Yeah, I mean, there's a place for them, isn't there? Yeah. It's good well, they're watching. fascinating, aren't they? Yeah, really you know, good. Well and, done. And when somebody's had a ride like that, you yeah, know, it's really... It's, um, I haven't seen it, but you've seen it, haven't you, Vass? I've seen two episodes now. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. Are you in it a lot, Jerry? I'm not in it. At all? No, not... No, no. There's quite a bit of you guys in the first one. Oh, you... I, I really enjoyed him. that bit. Yeah, I think there's a little reference here and there. <laughs> but it's sort of... You know, I really admire the journey. It's amazing. And it is well put together. Well, everybody's saying it's so well made mm. and, you know, they come out of it so well. The guy that directed it, he's in succession. and He's, he's in a, it? He, he's, he's the actor from succession, Which David one? Fisher. Yes. And he, you'll recognise him, he's the one with this sort of like... I don't want to say for the older guy in succession, one of the three, you know, that advise. And if you, when you watch it, if anyone likes, you know, that sort of music that drives succession, you can feel that influence. Do you like succession? Yeah. I love succession. Yeah. And um, you can feel it. It's very well put together. And um, what's going on with Drive to Survive? Have you been in any of the ones we're going to watch in the future that haven't been aired yet? Um, 
I don't know. Do they film all? How does it work, Joe? They're, they're sort of always hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, and I they're mean, sort of trusted, aren't they? Are they? Uh, yeah, I mean, I sort of, I don't know what. I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's brilliant. I think it's like the Kardashians on wheels. Yeah, you well, it's, it's done great for the sport, hasn't it? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, I really admire. I know you admire the sport. It yeah. is a brilliant sport. In it's, itself, well, the life in the world and the you yeah. know everything and goes I see, on and around. For those at home, he's wearing a Red Bull racing cap, and you came into the. I bought this in the shop there. Did you? Yes. I love that. Yeah. That's so nice. And your son did some, like... Some, he did four he, days there, That's yeah. amazing. Oh, he, he so what, does he want to do, what does he want to do? Well, he wants to work in... For, he, wants to, he wants to work for your husband, is what okay, he wants. OK, but what... So he, what kind of... Which bit he doesn't does he, care. He, he doesn't does he care. Like engineering, the marketing? Like, yes, yes. <laughs> all of it. Yeah. Okay, well, he's like, literally I'll just put a, in a word. He then. just wants to work at Red Bull. That's oh, all he that's wants. That's so nice. It's such a good. I'm biased, but I think <laughs> Christian is. A, I'm biased too. It's amazing. You've seen it. He's such a good team principal. He really, you know, like the Tom Hanks of that sort of really gets people to work together. Yeah. Like, I've learned so much from him, and he's all really about goals. Like I've learned. You know, when I was writing, he said, "Stop." He goes, "Give yourself goal, goal, because otherwise you just coast." Yeah. And, and, and you don't need to reach the goal, but it gives you a direction. Direction, yes. A vector, yeah. a velocity. I like it. Because when I, the day that I was there, um, he, he did the thing where whenever they win a race, Red Bull, which is every week, um, they, they, all the factory are invited to the theatre there, the lecture theatre or the, I don't know what you call it. Yeah. And um, he addresses everybody at three o'clock. You don't have to go, but people do go and everybody gets a glass of champagne. And he gives this speech, doesn't he, after yeah. it? Yeah. And it's like, that's the culture. That's a culture. That's a company with a culture. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you bo you're bothering to get people together, and then he asked me to come up and say a few words, <laughs> and I got all carried away. It was really a, they had to drag me off in the end. It was uh, it's very I'm, inclusive, isn't it? I got it? infected by it all. Yeah. You know, it's it was. Is it a really good vibe there? Very oh. inclusive, very uplifting and encouraging, which I really admire. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, yeah. people who can run company. Is, for me, a successful company has to have a really good culture running through it. Yeah. And um, Red Bull, another. I'm companies. very proud of him because yeah. what he I've watched I've watched them lose together and win together. Yeah. You know they had a seven years of whether oh, they gosh. weren't doing more very well. You and, had to write the book. You think I better I better get into writing. Yeah, we might exactly. Need to, we might, I yeah, might need to put like, some okay. bread on the table. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so to watch that, I thought I, that is very. I know Admiral, the way he kept everyone's together, their spirits. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot to learn from watching him. Yeah, and also um, he was in charge of the most organised birthday party I've ever been invited to, which was <laughs> your 50th birthday <laughs> yes. party. What a riot that was, man. That was amazing. I can't believe it was less than a year ago. I know, it's just flown, hasn't it? Yeah, big, and I thought, because when you came in, I thought, yeah, because her birthday party was great. Yeah, we could have a little chat about that. And then I remembered, oh, the king sent you a message a video message mm. because he was the king oh that must mean it was in the last 12 months and it seems like ages ago I to know. me now so much has happened yeah. i think the highlight for me was shirley bassey singing happy birthday oh my god like when i was a little girl my mother used to say to me shirley bassey arms and shirley bassey sang to me i mean it was like it was just such a beautiful fun party do you know what I mean of lovely people good energy coming together I was like wow. Ryland hosted a This Is Your Life for Jerry yeah it was it really was good brilliant. Really and nice. um, some of her ex-partners were invited but we were sat in the cheap seats on no purpose. you were no Christian <laughs> said in his speech he did it, it was a joke he was a joke some of yeah. her exes are here and they're in the cheap seats <laughs> it was very funny oh it was nice it was a great so deal nice. wasn't it yeah it was amazing I'm very um, lucky so Obviously, you had your, your own dreams. You, you know, and you, you shoot for the stars, you get the sky thrown in, Spice Girls, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but was this ever part? I mean, you could you be any happier? I know you're blessed and you're very lucky, and so am I. And we we've got to get up every morning and think about that first and foremost. But yeah. everything else, and also every 15 minutes in the day, you know, okay. set your phone. Gratitude. What's that alarm for? It's to be grateful again. Nice. But you were grateful at 15 minutes ago. I know. I need to be grateful every 15 minutes yeah. until I die. Did you ever think life would be this good? Um. I am. I'm very grateful, yeah. you know, but I always think there's there's four rules that that are embedded in Rosie. And one is or the rule number three. It's like never give up 
and it's saying be of service yeah always be useful be and useful. that's always served me well when i get up and say rosie frost yes she's an adventure but also it's giving something to the world i feel good about that yeah it's like you on the radio mm. you you're uplifting people and encouraging them mm. so it gives it gives that extra push so, you know, of course, we all want to be successful yeah. and have different chapters. But if we know we're giving something to the world, it just gives that extra something. So I feel like the world has given me so much. So I'm grateful. Yeah. I am grateful. You've for always it. been grateful. And what's interesting about talking to you now and listening to you now is you've talked around this for ages now, for 15 or 20 years since I've known you, yeah. longer. But you've talked around this and you've spoken to this and you've never, for me, you were looking for what it was. And now you're speaking from this. I feel a different energy from you today. It's always been great, by the way. It's always been 100% amazing. Gift. But now I can feel a different source of energy. Well, I think it's a gift of age. I think when you're younger, you have that bravado. Yeah. And then in my 30s, I'd fallen down a little bit. And yeah. that you, sort of that ingenue. A little bit lost. Yeah, you think, oh, where am I? And then yeah. when with age comes the gift of experience. Yeah. And so that comes from a sort of, you're rooted on the ground. Mm -hmm. So your words have power because they're standing in truth yeah. from experience, I suppose that is. And then... You know, when I feel like I'm giving, yeah. then it gives me a, a different motivation as well. I know, but that's the bit that I was referring to that you've always talked around, right? Yeah. Because you, cause I could feel, sense the frustration in you thinking, I know I've got something to give, I know I'm grateful, and I know I can be of service, but I don't know what it is. And this yeah. is, it's Rosie, is yeah, it? Yeah, Rosie Frost is just, it feels like the thing, you know, I've always felt confident as a writer, and I could put it into songwriting. That's the bit I felt good at, uh -huh. you know, in, in the different parts of the Spice Girls. I, I could do that in the script writing and, you know, the visuals of things. And But so to be able to channel it into mm. a book, and I have to say it's the hardest thing I've ever, ever done, yeah. the discipline of book, of a novel. It, I, I t it, it's been amazing. So to be able to do that... It has been incredible. Do you know William Boyd? Yeah, of course. Okay, so he helped me with this. Yeah. He, I gave him an early draft yeah. and he said, I said, I'm really struggling. He said, start again, but rewrite it in the third person and the past tense. So that was like a massive challenge. And Jacqueline Wilson, she also helped me on an early draft. You're just encouraging. Yeah. So I had to learn. It was like a baptism of fire. Um, so I feel... Like I've learned a lot. <laughs> you feel like you've grown. You I've see? grown. It's like, do you really want to do this? Okay. And it it's tested. like talking to a different person. Yeah, it just tested me on every <laughs> level. So to be validated, like to wake up at two o'clock in the morning to say you're you're the New York Times bestseller instantly. I was like, what? I know. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Thank you. Like, I'm so beyond. How were you with homework as a kid? Did you hand it in on time? Do you know what? I... <laughs> I think I wasn't focused. Yeah. I don't know about you, but my mum, she was at work. Yeah. And she, I think we're different now, parenting them. We're, parents are a bit more on it, aren't yeah. they? And so my mum was out of work. She was... She's busy, man. She was busy. So she did the best she could. Yeah. So I would say I was a bit erratic with homework. It's, I did okay, but not as good as I could have done. It's funny, those next seven books in, I wonder what your English teacher would have thought. I know, <laughs> I know. Can you imagine? I have read seven books, let alone written I know, three but I've or always four. loved reading. Yeah. I've always loved reading. It's because I didn't have the money to go a lot on holiday a lot. So yeah. if you read a book, you can go anywhere and you don't get your fingers burnt, yeah. which I always love that. Or they give you comfort. Uh -huh. Do you know, I felt sometimes felt lonely or if I felt bullied or, you know, I find a strength through a character. And so. it's all in there, isn't it? It's, it's, it is it's all, all in there. I'd say it was there. in their grief as well, if Rosie, anybody's lost someone. Yeah, Rosie has a fair share of bullying. Yeah. And it start, you know, it doesn't pull any punches. It's a, This is why it's Harry Potter-esque, I think. A, it's funny. B, she's fully formed as a character. Um, uh, but also because it doesn't pull any punches. You know, and it is dark because life is it dark. It's quite dark. The first challenge is quite dark. Well, if you don't go all the way down there, you can't go all the way up there. Yeah, and if yeah. you go up the way, all the way up there without going down there, that's called froth. Yeah. And that's not going to work. When you were doing all the rounds in America, what did they want to know? What were the big questions? What... Yeah, they were quite interesting, like, because I touched on... I they, they say write about what you know. Yeah. So I you And I sort of turned, like, the pain or poop to fertiliser. And Rosie, she has lost her mother yeah and you know in a lot of characters there's uh, in stories there's orphans but th but she actually you feel her grief mm. you do it f through her diary writing so if you want to because grief is quite a, an 
in Britain, we don't want to touch on it because it's embarrassing. When I was young, I was embarrassed of my tears. And so what you've got is a very angry young girl that's grieving mm. and um and they said we I, sometimes americans want to explore that a little bit yeah but sometimes they just want to touch on the adventure and the depending on who you're talking yeah, to yeah depending who i wanted to talk to is it's layered of different things but you know they were just americans they give you that sort of positivity like to go for it yeah it's very rocky you know like, young country that's what it is yeah rocky you can do it yeah kind of i love it what spice girls questions did they ask you um they're all just very positive. Do, do they want you to tour there? Um, th th that always gets, you know, brought up. And, but I'm, I'm really grateful. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because that's, that's such a, a defining chapter in my life. Yeah. And I love being with the girls. Um, I'm seeing Emma later. Yeah. You know, so she came to the, the book launch. So, yeah, I'm happy, to, you know, to celebrate that. Good for you. Um, anything else you want to say? Anything else you want to get out of there? Just I, uh, how brilliant have you done? I was just thinking as I walked in, <laughs> Virgin Radio, all those years ago, 24 years ago, you started at Virgin. You used to bring us food. I, I know. She used to bring us food on a Saturday afternoon. And I, the, I've cooked you this. And then I, it feels like... <laughs> food wasn't really on the menu those days, but yeah, thank no, you for trying to put yeah, it on the menu. Yeah, I was trying to feed you. Uh, but uh, it was like, I, it, feel, it feels like a full circle moment. Like you're all thriving here. It's brilliant studio. Videos. It's beautiful, and then here you are doing so well, and then yeah, it's it's, it's lovely. Cool. We were we were blessed in the first time round. We're triply we're it's two point zero now, isn't it? It's um, amazing. Plus plus. Are you going to um, surf with Amanda? Surf. Yeah, because she said we're gonna be um, we're gonna be in LA for four days. Where should we go? Where should we stay? I said you need to stay and you need to go surfing there. Surfing, okay, it depends on the weather, doesn't it? No, it's gonna be fine. But I've okay. booked you in, just so you know. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that sounds very nice. Okay, you're in with Crash. I'm gonna be crew. at Austin. I'm going to the Austin. Room. I know. This is the thing. This is After. like yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. We're talking about racing. Yeah, Austin, Texas. Oh, I love Austin. What about Las Vegas? Come on, let's talk about that briefly. Yeah, that, so that's... Las Vegas on the race calendar for the first time ever. I know, that's pretty It's epic. ridiculous. All the hotel rooms and all the tickets sold out 12 months ago. I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's crazy. But are you going? No, no. Adrian, our mutual friend, um, said you can come to any Grand Prix, just not Las Vegas. I think that's going to be a bit of a like. It's oversubscribed somewhat. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. But it's brilliant because, you know, what I love about it, it's like including everyone now racing, you know, the STEM girls, they're really getting like science, technology, engineering for, you know, all ages, all sexes. Yeah, yeah. It's brilliant through it. So. We met, we met um, a young lady uh, when we were at Red Bull who had won a scholarship. She's from India. She's from India. She, her family live in India. Yeah. And she was at university in Germany. And she won a scholarship from 60,000 um, nominees to, <gasps> to have a year at Red Bull. And she literally thinks, and she's quite right, thinks she's won the lottery. That's so that good. Cool? So 60, good. 60,000 people for That's one a, place at Red that, Bull. Wow. Super cool. And she, was, she knew everything about everything. She, she had uh, lunch with um, Adrian and myself and hubby and noah and um she, she was she was saying things adrian was evening and i don't actually know wow. what she's talking about now <laughs> oh that's amazing so, so she might be all right that's so nice they're giving you know every, opportunity it's isn't so it cool. if you could change one thing about formula one what would you change <laughs> Um, that's that's a really interesting question. Christian, be home a few more weekends. No, I, I was going to say, what do you think they would? Could I think he should be home a few more weekends. That's so. I was going to go more to. Um... I'll tell you. No, I'll tell you. What, do you want a proper chat? A proper change. So at the weekend, they had these mandatory changes in the last Grand Prix, um, which was where was it? The last Grand Prix last weekend. Um, it was. Oh my god. Up. But guitar, yeah. Guitar. And they had mandatory tie changes every 17 laps. And I thought that was great because it just spiced things it's up. Spi it, yes. And what do you think of the uh, sprint races? I, like the, I love the sprint races. I was a bit confused because the, the weekend they had sprint race and they had qualifying. Yeah. Uh, I love it all. Just bring it on more, more, more. You know, and I love the party weeks. I love the fact they've gone to party cities around the world and they said, look, it's a party. Let's not start it on Friday. Let's start it on Monday. Let's have all the fun. And then the pulling of the crackers is the race on Sunday. And then we go on the circus moves. That's a nice way else. of putting it. And it really does celebrate the world, doesn't it? Yeah, totally. Which is really nice. But once again, congrats. Um, Jerry is here to talk about this amazing book that is already a New York Times bestseller from Jerry Hallowell Horner, Rosie Frost and the 
Falcon Queen, the first of three. It's official. Definitely going to be three. Yes. Hundred percent. Yes. Okay. All right. It's time to find your power. Da, da, da. Mm. A brilliant read. So inventive. Such an incentive and exciting. Says Jacqueline Wilson and William um, Boyd. William Boyd uh, helping you out there, mentoring you. That was amazing. It was like my first my first draft was like giving Humpty Dumpty to Shakespeare. I know. I mean, he was. I was like, ah. Oh, I messing one. He, yeah, he's lovely. He's, he's so, so given, isn't he? So gorgeous. And also, he's he's sort of like what you want a writer to look like. Yes. He, yes. To feel. I mean, Vass is giving it a go with his card in your, your elbow patches yeah, this morning. Elbow patches. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. And he's, nice. you have written a couple of books, haven't you? Do you know what? I admire anyone that's written a book. It's it's it is, it's not easy. It's not. It's such. A <laughs> and there challenge. are so many of them. Yeah. It's incredible. Uh, yeah, because everyone's got a story, though, isn't it? Everyone's got yeah. a story, and you write it down. You find out so much about yourself, don't you? Yeah. And then you find this voice because all the publishers, all the clever people that publish that, says, "Oh, you've got a great voice." And you go, "What does that mean?" And then it means that you're channeling something that's coming from somewhere else. And, nice. And you've opened yourself to it. Yeah. Great to see you again. So lovely. Smiling to be here. as ever, <laughs> as ever, force for good. Jezza. Thank you. You are very welcome.